Beautiful southern French weather. How awesome. It's a drizzle which will last for many miles. Brilliant. Luckily, I'm still in a garage, but I won't be for long. <sighs> Goodbye. And of course I have to dress in all the waterproofs I've got with me. Maybe it doesn't look like that for now, but the faster I was going, the more it was raining, as usual. And you know what? It's a damn pity that it's raining today, because I'm next to some lake, and I hope that I can explore that area a bit. Look at the map. It looks interesting, isn't it? Well, I think it does. What's more, I've never been in that area. So, yeah, that's a double pity. Let me tell you one thing. Even in that rain, that area is quite nice. Of course, it's not Alps no more. However, well, just look around, guys. And now it's even better because it stopped raining for a second. I will say it again, that's a damn pity that it's raining today and the weather looks like that. It's only about 400 miles left to Calais and it's just Friday, so I have plenty of time left to explore. Well, instead, thanks to the rain, I'm going on the straight road, almost. But it's still brilliant, isn't it? Yes, it definitely is. It's kind of beautiful. Well, if not the bloody rain. And to make things worse, there were plenty of cars which were spreading the water around. So what could I do with that? Shush. Well, that was definitely a nice town. Now it looks again. That time going towards rain. So I well, turn left somewhere. That's my plan. Yeah, exactly. I took the random turn left just to avoid the rain, because the cloud in front of me was rather terrible. And now, my friends, I'm riding without the target. I'm just turning wherever the clouds look better. But it's still, more or less, the same direction. What's more, I'm trying to stick to the green areas on the map, avoid the main roads and ride through national parks. It's... nowhere. Be... Yep, absolute middle of nowhere. But you know what? Quite beautiful, to be honest. Right, I am on that lovely road. It's a bit wet everywhere, but hey, I am a bit wet. Weather was shit, but it looks good now. So, let's go. Just wanted to say, I will reach Rhymes today. might be not the most spectacular place I ever seen. However, it is really pleasant, you know? There is one more very important thing to say. 
Do you remember? I said I won't be recording today. But actually the road is so pleasant today that I changed my mind. I cleaned some SD cards and yes, I'm recording. But I told you that I need to do some summary of the trip. But you know what? Yes, I will do it, but later on. Okay. I'm in the middle of France. Look how lovely it is. And <laughs> look at that. How shitty my bike looks like. Awesome! Well, it looks like I'm a dirty, nasty bastard. So let's go anyway. Yeah, there was absolutely no time to waste. Especially that the weather improved. Just look around. It turned to be actually really, really pleasant now. Look what a beautiful weather it is. But is it? Look at those clouds in front. The sky. It looks amazing, except it's again raining there and it shouldn't, but it does, so... Crap. Let's go. Yeah, looks kinda messy there. <laughs> Why, for the fuck's sake, this cloud needs to be exactly there? What the heck? I have to go there because petrol station is there. And here it is. But luckily it appeared really fast and as fast disappeared. And so again, it started to be beautiful. I know, I know, it's flat area. It's not Alps, the views are not as gorgeous, however, it's just pleasant. And that's all I need today. In the meantime, I was slowly reaching Rhymes. I did almost 300 miles today, which is alright, having in mind the weather. And of course I could do more, but what for? Should I reach home faster? What for? But don't tell it to my wife. Mm. No. This is my super duper hyper big room. And that is the bike. And the camera died. So I took the picture and I started planning the route for tomorrow. But first, let's take a look at the map where I am at the moment. And as you can see, it's not far away from the Dunkirk or Calais. So if I would really like to, I could reach it today. But why? In the meantime, my mate Paul reached Poland and he visited his son on the south of Poland. And he decided to annoy me with his food. Phew, <laughs> Polish food. I've got French cuisine. Evening lunch in a cheapskate style. See? And who is doing better now, hey? Or maybe I was just exhausted. Good morning, that was my hotel in the back. Uh, I'm packed and I got just 300 kilometers, 200 miles to Dunkirk. And I got the ferry booked, unfortunately for tomorrow because there was nothing for today. So expensive, channel was sold out and ferries even were like for 120 and it was just one available. Crazy. I booked for tomorrow 10 a.m. And that was reasonable price, 40 quid. I booked the hotel, which was another 40 quid. So actually 18 total, but at least in the morning I will be fresh and ready to start because it will be raining later today. So that's it. See you later. But as we started talking money, and I'm on the really boring roads next to Rhymes, let's start the conversation now. Or the summary. The whole trip took us. 24 days and 5,100 miles. 
On the whole trip, I spent 1500 pounds, and that's the price for absolutely everything. And that means it was just 60 quid a day. Per head, of course, but still, I think it's really impressive, having in mind that Italy is not the cheapest country in Europe. But anyway, you can still do it cheaper. 5 to 10 quid you can spare if you would just stay on a campings only. Even better, in one big tent. If you want a piece of comfort, you can still take the vis a vis tent with two bedrooms. But hold on a second, look at that bike, isn't it weird? On the British plates? Hmm, why they look at me like that? That's suspicious, isn't it? And look, they were filming me. What's going on here? And then, all of a sudden, look. It was my YouTube mate, New Biker, and he was there on his French trip. If you don't know him, check his channel for certain. Really cool guy, with a lot of cool things on his channel. Check him out, I will give you the link in the description. What a small world, eh? Off we go. Indeed, what a small world. But you know what? I will blame him for the weather. Because on his whole trip, he's got the weather like that. And he brought it to me. That's unfair, mate. That's really unfair. Okay, but I forgive you because the weather already improved. Coming back to our main topic, which is the summary. Is 1500 quid a lot? I don't know. You tell me. But I think for almost a month on a bike, it's not that much really. Especially in Italy. Beautiful weather. 90 kilometers to go. Not even 60 miles. Well, I won't get tired on a motorcycle today. Thanks to that, I've got plenty of time to visit some famous locations. Like, well, Eiffel Tower, look! Oh, yeah, and somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The weather is terrible. The whole day is like raining, drizzling, and it's terribly cold. 15 degrees. I didn't have that for a long time. I forgot how bad it is. It is terrible. Okay, I'm two kilometers from the hotel and that will be it. I will call it a day. We'll show you the hotel and I will tell you a bit about the trip in the hotel. See you later. It looks like my waterproof gloves are just not that waterproof anymore, but my fix temporarily worked. So I'm kind of dry. However, there was no torrential rain, just the drizzle all the day. My Spada boots are not that waterproof anymore. They are allowing a bit. It's not bad, but yeah, look, maybe you will see. The wet part is this. Not terrible. The room is really tiny. Uh, and yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, 10 a.m. I've got the ferry and I'm going directly to the UK and that will be it. The only thing I will do probably, except driving on the riding on a motorway, I will probably meet with my friends in a pub. So, other than this small shitty room, I've got not much more to say. So, I just went shopping to buy some best of French food. Brilliant, right? But then I fell asleep and there was a next day and I was coming back home. And that was fantastic. But you've got the same when you are going back home, you don't want to. But maybe, maybe there is a chance that they won't let me pass here. Fortunately, they did. And the time I spent here wasn't that bad because I've got good company of the German couple. They were just starting their trip and unfortunately I was finishing mine. Back to summary then. As I said, we did 5100 miles, which was 212 per day. So is it much? I will tell you what. Yes, it was a bit too much. We just needed a few extra days to relax. Because that non-stop riding thing was really exhausting, especially in those temperatures and in the mountains on the narrow roads, with plenty of diversions. Thanks Google Maps, much appreciated. So is it difficult to reach the south of Italy on a motorcycle? Absolutely not if you want to be on the motorway. 
but I didn't and I set it even in my sat nav. Therefore, instead of going to M25, the sat nav pushed me towards London. Bloody awesome, right? <laughs> the only good thing about it, it's just Sunday, so it's not that busy, is it? Anyway, right now wasn't really late, so I've got plenty of time to get home. But actually, my wife was working today, so there was absolutely no need for me to rush. Instead, I called my friends in Coventry, and it looks like they are going to the pub today. But before I join them, let's again go back to the summary. As I said, it's not a problem to reach the south of Italy, but it's a problem if you want to go through the mountains and hills, and especially if you want to avoid the motorways. If you want to jump on motorways, then there would be absolutely no issue to get there in no time. Except, you would see shit. Just a few cars you would pass, and that's about it. That's not something I would enjoy. Even sometimes the cars can be nice. But that's not a common thing, is it? Anyway, can the trip be even cheaper? Yes, if you wouldn't waste that much fuel. It would be much cheaper, let's say, on Himalayan. Is there more you can do? Yeah, you can go slower. But, you know what, I don't care. <laughs> and now, let's grab something I really missed. A cheap beer which tastes like... Never mind what. <laughs> But look at the lovely bikes here. The 750 Norton Commander and that two-stroke Suzuki. Lovely. Himalayan, Sportster, lovely mix of bikes. You know what? The Commander looks fantastic. Bloody awesome bike. And that will be it, my friends. There is nothing left except this video and the pictures. A few words at the end. How was the trip? Absolutely bloody amazing. Maybe even smashing. Yeah, it was. Would I change anything? Well, maybe I would go there in the slightly better temperatures. But was it really that important? No, I enjoyed the heat. However, I would much prefer to have a few days extra to relax, because even I absolutely love to ride motorcycle, but sometimes it's good to take a few days rest. And we just missed that bit. Would I change anything else? Absolutely not. So, I hope you enjoy the videos. I really did enjoy making them and obviously being in Italy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now, it really helps me a lot. It also helps me a lot if you click thumbs up and if you leave your comment under the video. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm really dislikes the touring videos. Well, obviously there is one trick I can do. Place a nice looking girl's face on the thumbnail. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys, but she is just a fake AI creation. That's the times we are living in. <laughs>